This time I talked about how we have been able to isolate bacteria from the mouth and from uh, the gut. We know that bacteria in the mouth and in the gut, in the intestine, are very important. They regulate immune function, they regulate metabolic functions, and overall they are very crucially involved in deciding health and disease. We have a lot of information on that. But these are, in most cases, associations. So we know if this bacteria is present, it may be good, it may be bad, and so on. But what is needed today is that we will be able to cultivate all these bacteria, to isolate them, to cultivate them, and then to determine what the genome is and to determine what metabolites can they produce. Because that is the next step in order to produce very effective probiotics. This type of research is extremely valuable. We have created catalogs of bacteria and their genomes. One of the things is that we can discover bacteria that are able, for instance, to degrade different uh, carbohydrates or fiber and produce beneficial molecules. The second thing we can see is that some bacteria produce a lot of um, biological active molecules. For instance, some molecules that can prevent the growth of pathogenic, that is harmful, bacteria. There are a couple of very interesting features. For instance, it has been shown if you take um, gut bacteria from young mice and put into old mice, for instance, their cognitive abilities improves. We don't know exactly why and how, but I mean, it, it creates an, a possibility, I would say, that in the future we might be able even to treat people with specific bacteria that has a positive effect on uh, cognitive performance. We also know there are certain bacteria associated with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. So, so maybe we can also in the, in the future maybe be able to selectively kill such bacteria. We might be able to predict and, and generate phages that could specifically eliminate these kind of harmful bacteria. And that has been done, for instance, for inflammatory bowel disease. Talking about longevity, there is a very interesting experiment done in killifish. Killifish are small fish living in ponds. They only live for 20 weeks or so. If you take an old killifish and then you transplant fecal bacteria from a young killifish to the old fish, it lives about 20% longer. If you use your imagination, and you may live longer. <laughs>